I really can't stay. It's cold outside. But baby, I really can't stay. I cold because it's cold outside. Well, baby, it's cold outside. <laughs> Because I know it's cold for you other bitches out there that don't have this rap album, honey, that can't produce Pink Friday too, like my girl. Let's get to the gig, girl. I'm ready for you girls to gag, honey. Hey, y'all, what the fuck is team, my lovely people? Yes, we are back up in this gig, and finally in this gig, honey, we are in the gig, the gig we've been waiting for all week, Pink Friday. Friday 2 is finally here. Baby, I am a finally arrived in Gag City, and let me tell you something, you trifling, you trifling girls. As far as fandoms go, the Barbs are like my favorite cousins that come over on like holiday and whatever, and we like rag on each other the entire time. Like, they, that's what the Barbs, like, the, and the Beehive and like the Monsters are like my brothers and sisters. So the Barbs feel like me going to Gag City was just this huge old thing. Girl, y'all so tired. But I live for a key. I'm always gonna live for a key. But only I get the last laugh, honey. And today, I am giving Miss Claus, girl, because Nikki is giving us gifts. And you know, I just felt like Gag City needed a Miss Claus. So here I am tonight, giving you Miss Claus teas, girl. By the way, I got food. I got food, I got I got chick for um. If you don't know me, you've never seen my face before. Hello, my name is Zach Campbell, nice to meet you. If you're new around here, well, hello. <laughs> Welcome to the shenanigans that is this channel. This is what you can expect when you subscribe and be a part of the community. This is what we do. And if you're returning, girl, you know how we do, girl. And some of y'all been here since five years ago. I haven't been on social media. I don't know what people are saying. I don't know anything. Only thing I do know before I went to sleep, they said Billie Eilish was on this album. So, hello, Billie Eilish. Let's see. I can't believe I'm saying this. Oh my God, finally, after delay, after delay, after delay, <laughs> let's see if Nicki Minaj's Pink Friday 2 album is a bop. <laughs> Or, you know, I don't think the queen would just make us wait for a flop like this, but stranger things have happened. It could flop. It could. To the left, to the left. Let's just get into this Gigiana and find out. <laughs> Am I supposed to get into the mic? Mm. Okay. That's a little greasy. It could have. But I like it. Greasy like that. Let's start with Are You Gone Already? Here we go. Oh, that's Papa Bear. Papa Bear. Oh, wait a minute. Did you just. Was this just Billy as a sample? I thought it was Billy on the album. I mean, she's not listed, so I should have known, but like. Mmm. This is strawberry jam. So you just sample when the party's over? Nikki. I mean, I guess, you know, okay. I mean, it is a good song, so I get the sample. I guess everybody misread that girl. I thought Billy having her first feature. I'm about to say, Billy don't feature on nobody. I guess not even for Nicki Minaj, child. Mm, okay, well. This is literally the when the party's over, whole song. Girl, you just got the damn song playing in the background. Oh. Oh, this is for Papa Bear. I guess I'm not gagging because I thought Billy was gonna be on the song. I mean, I this is cute though. This is really nice. This is really cute. I love the letter to Papa Bear. Because I get it. As a new mom, moms make mistakes. You grow up with your child. I get it. I love this for her. I don't know if this should have been the album album opening though. I don't know, but this, this, I don't, mm, cause this doesn't set the tone for the album, does it? Are we gonna be sad the entire time? Cause you know, your album opener sets the tone. Okay, are you gone already? It's cute for Nikki, love that for her. For me, I didn't think that was a good album opener, no shade. But we have a whole album to get through. Let's go to Barbie Dangerous. I'm gonna try this spicy chicken sandwich. Bitch. Barbie Dangerous kind of cute. Bitch, she, she does it for me. I'm, I'm shaking my titties. Oh, it was only two minutes? 
What in the voice note? What in the voice note is that? Barbie Dangerous damn near voice note. What you mean two minutes? You could have kept going hard, Miss Girl. Okay. Okay, Nikki. Nikki. If these songs about to be two minutes... In between, without the features, I'm gonna be pissed. By the way, the spicy chicken sandwich at Chick Fil A, y'all ate this. The biscuit, bitch. I'm probably the one. I'm probably late for the party, but bitch, she is giving, honey. That's Barbie Dangerous. I do like her. Not my favorite two songs so far. So far, I'm in Gag City, but like, I feel like I'm not gagging, and I don't know why. We have a whole album to go. I'm not gonna do my girl like that. Okay. Damn, I kind of, mm, damn. There's only two songs in. Let's do FTCU, here we go. Oh, fuck this club up. What we doing, bitch? Oh! Bitch! Oh! Okay, bitch, only wait when I tell them bye, bitch, goodbye. I live for this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nikki, thank you, bitch. Thank you for bringing back pussy. Just pussy can't rap, bitch. Because let me tell you something. Everybody rapping like they just got big dicks. You know, like, and you know, I live. Everybody should have room to feel their masculine and feminine energy, bitch. You should. However, all the rap girls was rapping like they had just huge, gigantic dicks. And I'm not... I was complaining. I was saying, I'm not complaining, but you know, Nikki is just giving me the pussy feel that I've been missing from female rap. High heels on my tippy. Like, yes, bitch, like, give me that. Let me feel my kind. You know, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Give me my tens. Bitch, I gave me my tens. Take away two, bitch. I ate again. Once again, two minutes and 40 seconds. Nikki. These songs could be a little longer, babe. That's my only complaint so far. The songs could be longer, right? Let's go to Beep Beep. This one only one minute and 50 seconds? Nikki, why are these songs so short? I hope you're not just trying to appeal to TikTok. Um, um, I don't got time for these short ass songs, girl. And don't be just giving me long songs with features. Like, I don't know. I don't know. That don't, mm. Okay, let's go into Beep Beep. Here we go. Okay. Did that bitch said these bitches always checking for me like a Nike sign? Come on, bitch. Come on, bitch. She's gonna rap. No shade. The songs may be short, girl, but the bars are there. Okay? The bars are there, but the songs are short, and I don't like that. It's not taking me to Gag City like I want. But the bars are there, bitch. I'm sorry, but the bars are there, girl. The bars are there, bitch. <laughs> if I don't even... Miss Girl, oh, oh my God, my wig. That's Beep Beep is my shit, girl, because she snatched me ball, girl. That snatched me ball part one, girl. Are you just saying murder? Nikki. Nikki. Okay, Beep Beep is a chop. I don't like Beep Beep Beep. I liked Beep Beep for two seconds, and then she turned, she, really? I don't like Beep Beep. I liked it, and then I didn't like it. Okay, so we one, two, three, four songs in, and Fuck the Club Up is only my, my only favorite so far. Barbie Dangerous could be my, I can listen to Barbie Dangerous one more time and probably get my life. But Fuck the Club Up is that girl. Beep Beep was cute, but then it started, it, 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 it stopped. It's only one minute and 50 seconds. So it ain't nothing to really gag over, bitch. Besides a few bars, like the bars are there. Like I said, the bars are there. Nikki's gonna always give you bars. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not surprised about that. All right, let's go for Falling For You. ATL Jacobs all over this album, huh? Okay, my body T, my middle initial. That's cute. Why didn't you have Keisha Cole or Monica sing this? Fall For You could actually be kind of cute. Fall For You is actually not a bad song at all. It feels a little empty. A lot of this sounds unmastered too so far. I don't know why I'm feeling like y'all could have remastered some things. Like it sounds like it came straight off the hard drive. And that's not be me being shady. Cause I know my barb is like, bitch, you better. <laughs> oh, for real friend. Like y'all don't think it sound like a little muffled. Like it sound like a little, like it just needs to be like retweaked or something. Like levels need to be fixed or something. That's just me. I could be thinking too deep into it. This song could be so fab if somebody else was singing it and she was just rapping. 
I hope the whole album isn't this. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, I'm number one. Y'all gonna argue over top four. <laughs> that's now that's a key. <laughs> Damn, I like this song kind. I actually like Follow For You. It's 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 not the best, but it's 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 good, right? I'm not gagging yet though. And I'm mad that I'm not gagging. I wanna be like, oh my god! I'm not having that yet. Oh. You think I was falling for you? <laughs> That's cute. I like Falling For You. I, I I don't I don't mind Falling For You. I don't like the singing on Falling For You, but Falling For You is cute. This sound is everything, baby. That's what I'm gagging over. Okay, let me calm down, J. Cole. Let me calm down. What's a sample? Ooh, okay, so we are talking about your husband again. Hmm. So far this album is telling me we're getting a life update from Nicki in this album. Pink Friday 2 is really more so a title. Pink Friday 2 is more so a title. That's what it's telling me so far. Pink Friday 2 is the title, but the subject matter is where Nikki is at in her life today. And she said that on her Vogue interview for the 70 questions. She said that she's more so making music about where she's at now in life. And I can tell, I can really tell, like this is definitely talking about her baby, her husband, her being a mom, her being a wife, the struggles of marriage and being with someone and how they met. And yeah, okay, okay. Nikki, why are you singing so much on this album? What's happening here? So far, I will say this. I hate to say this, because, oh. Hmm. So far, Queen album is better than this. I ain't gonna hold you. I can't even lie to you, Queen. Queen, you know I can't lie to you, girl. You know I will never come, do you know you can't come to my channel and I'm gonna lie to you, girl. Also, I just don't know what we're doing. I, I just feel like there is no, even though this is Gag City, I'm not gagging, number one. Number two, I'm not feeling what, what, is, the, what is the album, I don't know the tone. I, I, I guess it just feels like there's just, it's just songs. It's like a compilation situation. Well, it is telling a story. It's telling a story about, let me not do that. It is telling a story about where she's at in life how she is today. And I think that that's what Pink Friday 2 is going to be in telling the entire time. I think it's more so where she's feeling, what she's feeling about now, about life. So maybe that's the subject matter. Thank you. You didn't have to sing on this. You could have had anybody else come and sing on this. You didn't have to be the one singing on this. Nikki, Nikki, you do not. I don't like. Let me calm down. I hate to say that, Barb's. I hate it, y'all. I don't. I hate to say that. I. I don't want to say I don't like anything on this album. I wanted to love everything on this album. Let me calm down. It's just not doing it for me. I don't like it. It's about. It's straight. <laughs> Let's do R and B. Which why is it called R and B and not Rihanna and Beyonce's not on this song? That was a moment y'all missed. That could have been so sickening. Nikki, I'm sure, and you got the connections, Nikki. Like, we're actually like, Nikki's not like the bitch of female hip hop. How hard it would have been to call Beyonce, call Rihanna. I got a song called R&B, y'all. Y'all want to be on it? Rihanna, Nikki, Beyonce. Instead, we got Lil Wayne and Tate Cobain. It could be good. It could be good. Just as, as far as branding goes, I'm sorry, I'm going to pause this really quickly. Just as far as like, gag, like, bitch, oh my God. It could have been Rihanna, Nikki, and Beyonce, and that would have been so sickening. Okay, this is kind of cute though. Okay. Real nigga bitch. Oh, that's the word of the day. Oh, that's what this stands for. Not Rihanna, Nikki, and Beyonce, but real nigga bitch. I feel like I'm cussing somebody out and don't know how to cuss. You old real nigga bitch. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> you old real nigga bitch. <laughs> I just feel like, okay. Okay, body of work of art like the Mona Lee. Okay, Nikki, you are in love, baby. Oh, chow. You and Beyonce, y'all love your husbands. Oh, <laughs> yes. And I live, I live, I live, I live. Kissing on my thighs and my breasts, he two-pieced it. She ate that, she ate that, she ate that. Ooh, when I ride his dick's the only time he getting flexed on. Why are you singing? What? Why? What is the point? 
Hello! You don't have to sing on this. Nikki, you had no reason. This song did not call for vocal. This song did not call for vocal. This could have been an easy rap situation. Who is Tate Cobain? Am I just... Am I not straight enough to know who that is? Why is Nikki acting like the only feature she can get is Lil Wayne and Drake? Okay. I bought a big, okay, I bought a big fake booty for a real ass bitch. That's cute. But you know Wayne gonna slide though. We know, we been done new. I can live without R&B too. No shade. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not, it's, maybe it's just not made for me. It wasn't made for me. Maybe it wasn't meant for me, R&B. Um, let's do Pink Birthday. Okay, 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 okay. Even though this song makes me want to hip roll <laughs> in my basement in 2005, like this would have made me want to do, bitch. This song isn't good. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Pink Birthday is just as as it's more funny than good. Like I feel like I want to hip roll to it a funny way, not. Sickening. And it's only 40 more seconds, so the song is short anyway. Once again, man, mind you, Pink Birthday could be a good song if somebody that knows how to sing did the chorus. That's all. So we're almost at the halfway mark of this album. I don't know. I don't hear a hit. And that's concerning to me. Let's go to Needle. Oh, it's featuring Drake. Oh. Oh, ooh. Oh. Oh, oh, Drake ate this now. Wait a minute now. Please pull up the main bitch. Okay, now we're gagging. Okay, bitch, don't say that. I don't play that. Okay. Oh, I like Needle. Okay, Needle's cute. Needle's cute. This is cute. Bitch. Yes. Yeah, this is cute. I like Needle. You see, somebody's harmonizing with her, so it sounds better. No shade. Somebody's harmonizing with her, so the, the 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 vocal the vocal is giving. It doesn't sound funny. It doesn't make me feel like I need to laugh. It makes me feel like, yeah, bitch, you did that. What about Cowgirl with my girl Lourdes? Okay. This is fun. Oh, I like this one. Yes. Okay, Cowgirl. She's cute. Cowgirl's fab. Yeah. Ew, fucking like a That's gonna be interesting. Wait, this sample? I need this makes me wanna get bitch. I I oh I almost wanna throw counts. Bitch, my HBCU girls, where y'all at? I want to be in the stands, bitch. Do a stand count real quick, girl. That's what this make want to do, bitch. That girl, hold on, let me start that over, bitch. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Bitch! Oh! Bitch! 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 Ah! Oh! Girl, where my fan? Ow! Bitch! Everybody engaged me, child. Bitch! Oh, my wig is fucked up. Bitch! Yes! This is it! Can the album have more of this? I don't wanna play this again. <laughs> I need to play that like what? Oh not everybody being the best song of the album so far. Yikes, hate to say it. Hate to be that girl. But everybody is a bop, bitch. What? Everybody. Oh, big difference. Oh my God, finally. Oh, everybody, I'm gonna play everybody again. She put crack in everybody, girl, cause I wanna play that again, bitch. Just being honest. When Bobby touched down. Like you, you, you and you. Like girl, bitch, period. You, you, you and you. Bitch, know that. Ow! Ow! Oh, big difference, what's up like that? Oh, big difference. Switch up like that. This eats. No more gagging. Bitch, you couldn't see me with a hologram, you nasty hoes. Period. 
I'm using that bitch. You hoes can see me with a hologram. Okay, bitch. I ain't skiing, but my neck is giving avalanche, honey. Oh my god, that switch up is wild. Bitch, that switch up is crazy. You, 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 and you. Them by the two. Hey! Nothing like you, 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 and you. You are whack ass bitches. Okay, so, so far, everybody is number one. Everybody's not my, my number one. Big difference is my number two. I actually like falling for you a little bit. I ain't gonna hold you. Fuck the club up. She's cute. Oh, Ruby Red Sleeves is next. We know her. What about Forward from Trini? What's that about? Oh, bitch, wait a minute now. Hello? This is it for me. Bitch! Bitch! Oh, yeah, this is it for me. Bitch! Wow, wait a minute. So the album is taking a shift. It went from slow as hell, didn't know what the fuck was going on. Damn near was in Snooze City, honey. Okay. To now, we're in Gag City. Maybe I took the wrong turn on the wrong exit because now my exit, I'm at Gag City. Oh yeah, this is it. This is, um, this is, uh, Trinity Dumb Girls while they palm the poom poom. Girl, this is her sister. This is Trinity Dumb Girls while they palm the poom poom on the rhyme when I rhyme on the brown the poom poom. Girl, this, this is, this is that bitch's sister, child, and I live. Bitch, this is everything. This is a bop. This song ain't long enough either, though. Nikki, this song ain't long enough either. Did she say go pop-pop? The papa must like this song in the studio. That's cute. All right, so we got Pink Friday girls. Not girls want to have fun, sample. That's fab. Is this going to be a nasty pop moment? This is little, listen, I can't even get it out, bitch. I'm gagging so much. See, I'm gagging now. I'm a gag city, bitch. This is literally Super Bass's little sister. Wow. This is literally Super Bass's little sister. This is fab. Okay, wait a minute, bitch. Wait a minute, girl. Boy, you got my heart beat running away. Like, bitch, sickening eyes. Do the with a bar, with a pickup and heart. Oh, yes, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Bitch, like, this is literally. This bitch's little sister. This is Lily Super Bass's little sister. I love it. Sing, Nikki. She gonna sing, bitch. She got the sample right here. She can let them sing it, but she gonna sing it, girl. <laughs> if I'm with your nigga, just let him go, girl. Okay, she is Super Bass's little sister. That's, uh, that's, that wishes she got the attention that Super Bass got. Because it's cute. I do like it. It's just not super bass material. I mean, it's not like, it's not the grand dame. You know what I mean? Like, she's not a good predecessor completely. However, she is super bass's little sister for sure. It doesn't give as iconic as super bass. I will say that. No shade. And something tells me that she just did this sample because, I don't know. I feel like she did this song because she needed a pop moment. She know that this sample is a, a surefire nostalgic situation. I wish we could have got an original new pop song like Super Bass was. That would have been sickening if she sampled her own self. That would have been interesting. I like Pink Friday Girls, but like it doesn't stick like Super Bass. Does that make sense? I do like it though. I think that it is a cute new pop attempt, but it's not as iconic as Super Bass. A couple of these songs, to be quite honest with you, a couple of, more than the more than a couple, majority of the songs on this album takes a re-listen. Super Freaky Girl, we know you, girl. Bomb Bomb. Oh my gosh, you put this on the album. Oh, Bomb Bomb. Ooh! Bitch, Bomb Bomb has an old flow. What flow is this? Why do I, why do I know this? I mean, I know it has a little bit of Chong Lee in there, but there's some, there's another song that she's done that has the same flow. But let me know in the comments below. I know y'all know. My only complaint about a lot of these songs, too, they're so short that you can't even really get into it. They're like, it's like almost you didn't have to put 22 songs on here. There's a lot of filler on this song, on this album. What about my life? <laughs> wow. No, she didn't. She literally sampled this. I'm gonna have to give my life a chop. I'm gonna have to give my life a chop. It was cute. I was about to, I was about to like really love it. I'm having more I don't like than I live. And I don't like that. This this experience has been interesting. It's all over the place too. I don't really This is not a good track list. I don't know. Something uh, It's not a cohesive 
Damn, not Queen being better. <laughs> I left for that. This ass still sitting, so I know they can't stand me. She ate that. She ate that. I'm sorry. She ate that. I, I like this part. I just don't like the singing part. Like, bitch, caught feelings when I wrote it in the reverse. This part could have been scrapped. This part could have been scrapped. She's cute, but then it goes into like, I don't know. Nicki Hendrix, Future Future. Is this that song? Is this that song I hate? Was she previewed on live? Let me, can I fast, I'm just gonna fast forward this a little bit. Excuse me, y'all. No, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing Nicki Hendrix. I'm sorry. Y'all can have that. Y'all can read me if you want to. I didn't like this song when she played it on live. I don't like it now. Blessings featuring Tasha Cobbs. Why is this on here? I like, praise the Lord, praise Jesus. Why is this on here? I don't understand it. It doesn't go. This is just a compilation album at this point. Nikki, this is just a compilation album. Last time I saw you, you know how I feel about that song. And then Just the Memories is the last song on the album. That's a chop for me. Okay. together at the features gagging at the production so um hmm my favorite songs on the album everybody is number one everybody could live on its own everybody everybody needs to be a single oh if you don't make a video to everybody you're illegal um big difference is my shit ruby red the sleeves i want to say pink friday girls but uh, something about it just feels gimmicky corny like, it just doesn't really hit the same as, like, a super bass, but I get the point. Bomb Bomb. I guess so. Bomb Bomb. My favorite songs are every... Oh, Cowgirl is okay. Needle is okay. Oh, Forward from Trini. I like Forward from Trini. Um, oh, and FTCU. Did I say that already? So, FTCU... Everybody, no, in order. Everybody, big difference. FTCU, four from Trinidad. Is that it? Is that the only songs I like? Those are the only songs I can see myself going back to. And maybe Dangerous Barbie. I can see Dangerous Barbie being something for me. That's a five out of 22. That's, that's not good. That's not good, Nikki. Five out of 22 for me. Five out of 22, bitch. A lot of these songs are fillers. A lot of these songs don't need to be on the album. I feel like I want to know more about the story that you're going through about being a mother and a wife. I felt like some of the things are repetitive. Some of the things you were saying were repetitive about that subject matter where it didn't need to be the whole entire album. I, I just miss the creativity. I miss the fun from your old albums. Dare I say it, Queen is better than this for sure. Damn. The question is, do I give it a bop or a flop, child? I'm still, de I'm still deciding on that. I may, I may need to come back and make another video about this, about if it's a bop or flop. I may need to like take another re-listen. Just off this is off the first listen. Off the first listen, it's a chop for me. But I want to do another listen on my own off the camera to really dissect and maybe I'll come back with my final analysis of exactly how I feel about this album cuz right now I just don't see it. Do those five songs could play it over and over. Everybody is really that girl. Everybody is really the star of the album. Everybody is definitely the star. Big Difference is definitely the star. Cowgirl is all right, too. It's just a lot of songs I hear that's just like, oh, Falling For You isn't that bad either. So I'll give it six. I'll give it, I'll give it seven out of 22. But not even, that's not even half, child. Oh, I'm sad and I'm kind of scared to upload this now because I wanted to be screaming and gagging, even though I did have a couple of moments of that, but... This album didn't really take me there all the way. All right, Tardis Army, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this album. Do you feel how I feel? Like, some things feel unfinished, but you have your favorite songs. But, like, the whole entire album, the whole album, not just a few songs, 
the whole album isn't really gagging me like I thought it would. Or maybe the expectations I had were too high. I'm just grateful to have new music from Nicki, to be honest with you. I do not feel the gagosity that I thought I was going to feel. I'm going to listen to this album one more time off camera. And I'm going to just be on the lookout for a follow-up video about how I really feel, about how I feel listening to it over again and maybe really giving like a full deep dive review about it. I feel underwhelmed. I feel like I want to protect her. Like I don't want nobody talking shit about her because I can tell that this meant something to her at least. Like this meant something to her heart. And that is all that matters about art. That's what all that matters about music is that if the artist feels as though her heart was put into this album and I feel like her heart was put into this album it may not be to the magnitude of her past work no I definitely think her past work was better however I do feel like this album she felt as though this was her heart and this was her soul and at the end of the day who am I to say that that's a chop I don't think it's for me it may not be my cup of tea but I'm just happy that she feels as though she put her best foot forward and made something 15 years into her career just being honest. Even though it's not my favorite piece of work so far, I'm willing to give it another chance to really get into it, to see what I'm missing. But right now, I'm just not as gagged as I thought it was gonna be like her best. She said it was her best work and all this. I don't see none of that. Doesn't mean that she doesn't see it or maybe some of you out there don't see it. You know what I mean? So don't take my word completely as like Bible as you should listen to it. I think you should listen to it. I think you should stream this album. I think you should get your own opinion formed about this album and let's come and talk about it. But let's not make Nicki feel shitty about releasing this album because at the end of the day, this is, I can tell that some of these songs are personal for her. You know what I mean? So I just want to protect my girl. All right, Tyler, I'm Mary for watching as always. I love you, Barbs. I love you, Nicki. I'm very proud of you though. Happy birthday. I'm really proud of you, girl. I just want to, listen to it again and see my gig but right now i'm just not gagged like i thought i would be but please let me know in the comments below guys i want to know exactly how you feel if you got something rude to say about nikki if you want to if you're trying to keep it tired bitch you can keep that you can go on somewhere else this ain't that community for that we live for my girl up in here bitch i want to give her creative constructive criticism nicely you know because she deserves that all right tyler's on me late bitch watch it as always and i hope you guys are enjoying reactmas and I will catch you tomorrow <laughs> or maybe next week, I think. One, very soon. <laughs> Bye, Arby.